Hey all, it's Steve from WBES with some more Green Lantern related stuff. This week I've been working on the title cards. Over the years, Green Lantern has gone through several iterations of its title card and I want to do a little title card review. Title cards are important in comic books. Of course, it tells you what the title is, but it also needs a pop and have the appeal to potential readers. First up is the original Green Lantern title card. The first Green Lantern comic book appeared in 1941 with the OG Green Lantern, Alan Scott. This series ended in 1949 after only 38 issues. Next up, after a little hiatus of the series, Green Lantern had a complete overhaul when he returned in 1960 as the new Green Lantern, Hal Jordan. This title card was used until a slight variation appeared in 1964. This flaming top version was then used for another five years until 1969 with a familiar format from the 1941 version. This title card has the longest run lasting until 1986 when the title card had more of an 80s twist to it with the reflective blocky letters. This was used until 1990 when the series ended. Another revival of the series happened later in 1990 when the series was relaunched. Storyline wise nothing changed but the title card had a complete revamp. This version lasted until 1994 after the Emerald Twilight story arc and introduced a new Green Lantern, Kyle Rayner. This title card held for a while up until 2002, the second longest running title card of the series. In 2002, the series went back to its roots as far as format is concerned with a sleek version of the 1941-1969 version. In 2005, a complete new version came to the scene with another relaunch of the series. This title card had the third longest stretch, lasting until 2018. After a 13 year run, the series had yet another relaunch in 2019 with an almost Star Wars-like variation of the title card from 2005. This one would only be used for a couple of years. Lastly, the current series, as of now, is going with an edgy version of its original format. Alright, now that I've gone through each title card chronologically, I'd like to review them a little bit on what my feelings are in each one. The 1941 version. This was a very detailed title card filled with flames and even an image of the ring slinger at its center. This was a very robust and detailed title card, and this one, hands down, took the longest to recreate. I do like the artistic use of the flames around the letters, but holy smokes. 1960. This title card was simple. Nice bold letters and a band of flames surrounding the text. The big bold letters really pop, but there's just something about it that's almost too simple. 1964. My opinion on this one is about the same as its predecessor. Almost too simple. 1969. Overall, I really like this one. It probably has to do with the fact that this was the longest running version, mixed with the longest running base format. The only issue I have with this one, which is totally OCD, is that the balance of letters on either side of it. It bugs me. 1984. I have similar feelings for this one as far as the letter balance. Though it had the dated 80s style, it also held on to the base format. 1990. I'm not sure how I feel about this one. It's an attempt to balance the letters better, and it's bold, so that's good. Just not sure about this one. 1994. This one holds a special place in my heart because I started reading Green Lantern during the Kyle Rayner era. It's also a nice attempt at balancing the letters, but the straight edges doesn't really scream Emerald Knight to me. 2002. Going back to the well for the original format, I like this one for its attempt at the visual balance of letters and eliminating the flames for more of a light beam, which is more in keeping to the modern Green Lantern mythos. 2005. This one really pops. It definitely catches your eye and stands out. 2019. This one also pops and is eye-catching. It has, as I mentioned before, a bit of a Star Wars feel with the large connecting letters, so I feel drawn to this one. 2021. Finally, the current 2021 version. As the 2019 version reminds you of Star Wars, this one has a bit of a Metallica feel with its edgy letters and the sharp end letters slicing over. So, which is my favorite? Hmm. Well, let's start with the ones I like the least. As I mentioned before, the 1960-1964 version seemed a little too simple, so let's get those out of the picture. The 1994 version holds a special place in my heart, but doesn't feel right for the Emerald Knight. The 1941 version is just too busy for me. 1990? I just don't like it. Now we're down to just a select few. Uh, okay, so I've arranged them in similar formats, feels, um, and maybe I'll do kind of like a um, tournament style here. Let's start with the top two. Alright, I really like these two. 
the 2005 and the 2019 one. Oh man, that's tough. Really big on contrast, so I like the 2005 one. But like I said, there's something almost Star Wars like that I like about the 2019 one. If I had to choose, I'll go 2019, the Star Wars y one. All right, let's go with the second two now. So we have the 1969 version versus the 1984 version, the 80s style one. Now, 1969 one is classic, but something is screaming at me about the 1984 one, so we're gonna go 1984 on this one. All right, for this round, we have the 2002 versus 2021 version. I do like the sharp edges, almost metallic alike, look of the 2021, the current one. But I'm going to go with the 2002 version. And then there were three. 2019, 1984, and 2002. For this last bit, I'm thinking I'm going to take into consideration not only the look of it, but also which ones really exemplify Green Lantern. Upon further deliberation, I have decided that the winner is... the 2019 version. This one is bold, pops, and has the classic Green Lantern insignia built into the title. Especially as a Green Lantern fan, I'm always on the lookout for this logo, so it seems to me that this one should reign supreme. Quite honestly, I was leaning towards the 1984 version, but it's a little bit dated and busy. I hope that you've enjoyed this video and thank you for watching. If you have an opinion on which one you like best, please list it in the comments below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks again and have a great day.